Hello friends, my name is Vil Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the what's the difference between encapsulation and abstraction in Java. Right? So encapsulation and abstraction are two of the fundamental OOPS concepts. Others are like polymorphism and inheritance. Uh, some sometimes people do get confused between encapsulation and abstraction as both are hiding something right so in this video let's try to understand the difference between encapsulation and abstraction first uh, let's try to define two two basically these two concepts encapsulation and abstraction to get better idea when we talk about the encapsulation means encapsulation means keeping together the implementation and data it manipulates having proper encapsulation ensures that the code and data both are safe from the misuse by outside entity so in a way encapsulation is more about data hiding right uh, it is a java class which which is the foundation of encapsulation in java now when we talk about the abstraction another side abstraction means hiding the complexity and only showing the essential features of the object so in a way abstraction means abstracting or hiding the real working and we as a user or developer knowing only how to use right so a very good example of abstraction uh, uh, in java would be java database connectivity or jdbc api which provides universal data access from the java programming language using the jdbc api we can access virtually any data source without knowing how the driver for that particular data source is implemented all we have is an api with a given set of methods like here you can say let's take an example of if you go to the connection uh, java.sql.connection interface then you have a many api one of the api is called prepare sql there you pass the sql query right so once you get the connection object then you can say connection dot prepare a statement and there you can pass the sql query right now while writing this line we don't bother how connection or prepared statement is implemented in oracle sql server db2 or mysql for us as a developer those details are abstracted and we just know how to use jdbc api to interact with db right so abstraction in java is achieved through uh, interface and uh, abstract class now hope uh, you have got some idea how uh, now uh, about do these two uh, terms like uh, so like encapsulation and uh, abstraction now so let's uh, see the differences between these two terms so let's go to the slide and here i have listed the differences now again uh, let's uh, brief uh, encapsulation encapsulation is about keeping together the implementation and the data it is manipulates uh, in a properly encapsulated java class method defines how member variables can be used that access control to the methods and the variable is achieved through access modifier like private default protected and public right now when we talk about the abstraction abstraction is about hiding the implementation and only giving the information about how to use it abstraction in java is achieved through interfaces and abstract classes now next point we have one of the benefit of encapsulation is that it helps in managing code that is changed frequently by the keeping that in one place thus providing maintainability and flexibility in fact that is one of the design principle as well like encapsulate what varies encapsulate the things which varies very frequently now last point we have a benefit of abstraction is to provide a contract through interface or maybe a bare skeleton implementation right uh, through abstract classes where generalized implementation are provided uh, based on the contract but user just sees the api any number of classes can implement an interface and each class is free to provide their own implementation and that's how that's how using interfaces java fully utilizes one interface multiple methods that is the aspect of polymorphism now here i have created an example and there we'll try to understand again through 
this example what's the difference between basically uh, abstraction and uh, encapsulation so let's see first try to understand encapsulation so here i have employee class and here you can see all the fields of employee class i have made private and if anybody wants to set values in this variable right instance variable then they have to access the all the setter methods and same they want to access right they want to read variable store uh, value stored in this private variable then they have a public getter methods right so here it, before setting values in this private method if you want to do some kind of manipulation inside the setter method like if you want to check the age age is greater than zero then you would like to set else you want to throw some exception so those things you can do inside the setter method right many things you can do before setting values over here right so basically here we are just restricting someone to access directly this variable if someone wants to access then uh, we don't want to make a variable as a uh, non-private as well as public setter method because else there would be a, there are two places two ways uh, people can manipulate this variable so here fields we have encapsulated within the class so making this variable as private so this will be visible within the class only and uh, providing the public setter getter method so this is the best example of encapsulation in java right so if you would like to elaborate elaborate it a uh, little uh, uh, i mean descriptive manner then here we have a class called employee and uh, in the class there are public methods that provides access to the class fields if you have noticed here modifier for all the fields is private these uh, methods for setting getting the values of the fields are called setter getter methods any other class basically uh, that wants to access the variables should access them through these setters and uh, getters and setters, setters right there is also one other methods here you can see get full name uh, in the same class that that is using the fields of the class that um, this method basically can use uh, variables directly right, right so these variables are private so directly this method can use now so this is the basically best example of uh, basically encapsulation and from another class you can create an object of this you cannot set directly values in the like age fields you will have to set values then you will have to call the corresponding public setter methods and uh, to access those fields you will have to call the public getter method and if i run this application then you will get the output something like this right so this is the base example of uh, basically encapsulation now second example we are going to look into a uh, basically uh, abstraction right so here basically in this package you can see uh, we have an interface is called i payment with one method do payment there are two implementing classes we have a uh, like cash payment which implements this interface as well as credit card payment right that provide implementation of cash payment and credit card payment respectively but uh, as a user all you you need to know is that you have to call the do payment method of this interface right you are not bothered about the internal implementation of uh, these classes right so if you look into the another class we have a payment and here let's have a look into this so in in payment class based on the mode of the payment appropriate class is called of course there are basically uh, better ways to do it using like factory uh, factory design patterns and encapsulating a logic in another class but uh, here we focus we, we, we here we are foc we here focus is to more on learn knowing what is abstraction right so here you can see we have a two constant cash and cc means uh, basically credit card payment and here in main method we have created a reference of uh, payment this class itself an object of this class and we are making call to the execute a statement by passing cash as well as credit card payment and here we are passing the amount so we have a uh, two methods like uh, uh, we have a one method is called execute payment that's passing mode of payment and amount so here we have declared a reference of our interface i payment so of course you cannot create an object of interface but we can create a reference of it and here we are doing mode 
payment mode we are checking if cash then we have assigned an object of cash payment right which is a, one of the implementation of i payment so we have assigned an object of cash payment to this reference interface reference and we are calling method of do payment so if you click over here so you are navigating on the interface right so this is basically hiding the implementation detail and you have option open implementation so you will get navigated on the open implementation so this implementation is available in two classes so saying that which classes you want to move so if you go to the cash payment then here you can see that there is an implementation so for simplicity just i have written one sop but in real scenario you have kind of kind of get made payment kind of code over here and similarly if i am checking if mode of payment is uh, credit card then we have assigned an object of credit card payment to this reference interface reference and try to call the do payment again if you click over here this is navigating on the interface right but uh, as as we know that polymorphism as for the polymorphism reference of this the reference of this interface is containing an object of credit card payment so a run time this is going to call to the method of basically credit card payment right and that's how basically uh, you get the abstraction in java right so i hope you understood what's the difference between abstraction and encapsulation uh, this code i'm going to check in on the github and if you really like this video then please hit on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel